everyone, it's Maki here. The Gundam series is still going strong in 2024. Yesterday, I arranged and released the main theme song for the movie Gundam Seed Freedom. I created this by listening to and analyzing the version sung by Takanori Nishikawa on the TV program broadcast in Japan on January 1st. The lyrics I used are from the subtitles of the TV program, so they match the actual song that will be released. I believe what was released is a shorter version edited for the TV program. When it plays in the cinemas, you'll probably get to hear parts that haven't been released yet. There is about 20 days left until the movie's release. I'm really looking forward to it. Today, let's focus on products that are exclusively sold in China. Living in Japan, it's hard for me to purchase them, but it's fun to observe products sold in various countries. This is a prize from a Chinese campaign called Ichiban Tuji. It's a lottery-style prize where you can win randomly. You can win the mobile suit called Totsunoko Gundam. This Gundam was designed by Kunio Okawara, who designed the original Gundam and many mobile suits. The latest Gundam, Rising Freedom Gundam, is also a creation of Mr. Okawara. This Gundam is themed after an ancient Chinese calendar system called Epto, which is also cherished in Japan. In this system, 12 types of animals are used in rotation to represent the year. 2024 is represented by the animal called Totsu, which refers to the Eastern Dragon. Tatsunoko can be interpreted as a being that inherits the blood of a dragon. There are various Gundams with a dragon motif. The Dragon Gundam from G Gundam could certainly be called a representative. Shenlong Gundam and Dotron Gundam from Gundam Wing also use arms shaped like dragons as their weapons. Gundam Epion transforms into a form resembling a two-headed dragon. The Dragoon system in Gundam Seed also has a name similar to dragon. Its appearance with multiple heads flying around and firing beams, is reminiscent of a multi-headed dragon. Now, the Tatsunoko Gundam inspired by dragons has joined this group. Although it's a China exclusive prize, it might make a brief appearance in the movie Gundam Seed Freedom. The likelihood of it playing a significant role in the story is low, but it might make a cameo appearing briefly on screen as an extra element. In G Gundam, Gundams from past series appeared on screen in a similar minor role and related to the main story. It might be interesting to watch the movie and look for these playful elements from the staff. Let's meet again in the next episode of the program.